So last night I went to a gallery show for Fat Lab, a five-year retrospective, which was absolutely fantastic. And if you're not familiar with Fat Lab, it's a collective of artists, hackers, engineers, musicians, graffiti writers, and there's 25 of them and they're all over the world. And their website says they're an organization dedicated to enriching the public domain through the research and development of creative technologies and media. So right up my alley. So I knew that stuff at this show would be really, really cool. And my friend Becky Stern, uh, uh, who you may remember from Make and now at Adafruit is a good friend of mine. She's a member and she may be watching. So, hey, Becky, how you doing? Uh, it's great to see you last night. Um, so the show is going on in uh, until April 20th. Uh, it's in uh, at iBeam in New York City. So if you're going to be in Manhattan between now and April 20th, definitely go check out this show. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to show you just a few of the things I saw that I really, really liked a lot. Some funny things, some interesting things, some cool things. And um, it's some things we've seen online before, but it was neat to see them in person also. Now, first of all, you walk around and the crowd... Uh, you saw a few pairs of Google Glass in the crowd, which was really uh, interesting. It was definitely a, a, a cool thing to see. But I think maybe most of them were fake Google Glass. It was April 1st, after all, April Fool's. And so uh, some people were wearing fake Google Glass and some people were wearing real Google Glass. And uh, it was tough at first to figure out who was who. And Becky let me try on her pair of fake Google Glasses, which she 3D printed there. Um, and uh, I caught uh, this moment here where Becky's friend Molly was talking to someone who actually had Google Glass. So you can see the real Google Glass and the fake Google Glass right up next to each other here. Um, a couple of the other cool things I saw, and this is only just some of the things there, and there are tons of stuff to look at. So, I, as I said, go check this out. First of all, one of my favorite projects, the Free Universal Construction Kit, which are 3D files you can print yourself to connect Duplo and Lego, Lincoln Logs, Connects, and Tinker Toy. And there you get you can just download those 3D files, you can print them up, and then you've got a universal connector to connect all these different systems together. So they had those out on display. And they even had the one universal connector, which connected all those all those systems together in a single piece and it was kind of sitting there on its own pedestal and I thought that looked really cool and it was neat to see it in person. They also had in the gallery a fake TED stage set up that you could stand there on the big red circular carpet and pretend you're giving a TED talk. They'd have the, the TED logo in the background and your face up on screen. Uh, that was really cool, and people were having so much fun with that. Uh, when you got up there, you could even take that little hand, that little um, uh, hand headset mic, and wear it. So you to really like complete the illusion that you were giving a TED talk, and then you could post it to Facebook or whatever like that. Uh, people were having a ton of fun with that, and I got to try it out myself here. In the center of the gallery, they had a car set up that was staged to look like a Google self-driving car, but it was also staged up, to, staged to look like it had gotten into an accident, and that was funny to see. Um, on the wall over to the right, there was this uh, project called the Wi-Fi Tagger. This is one that I had seen before and really liked a lot. The idea is that uh, you can add your own tag to act as a Wi-Fi SSID. So you if you go to that Wi-Fi network and log into it you can type in your name or your tag or whatever hit enter hit submit and then that becomes the new SSID and that gets broadcast to all the computers and or all the devices that see Wi-Fi network so that was cool to play with that and try that out um, they had a reverse maker bot or a destroyer bot uh, which was essentially just a microwave with a, a extra LED panel and some stickers on it that were styled to look like maker but I thought that was funny to see so it's at iBeam it's between it ends April 20th so definitely go check that show out it's really really cool um, and uh, if you're not in New York City at least check out Fat Labs website I'll put a link in the description have a great day I'll have another video for tomorrow bye